On June 23, 2017, a weak tornado traveled south of two central Kentucky towns, St. Francis, Kentucky and Loretto, Kentucky, dealing minor damages to a couple barns, destroying one barn, and of course destroying several trees. All the houses were luckily spared for the most part, and considering I live nearby to this, these two towns, I took my drone and camera, went down there, and captured some footage of the damage, and I'm going to be displaying that in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so just so you guys can keep up to where we're looking here, I'm going to circle wherever we're looking at from the drone via satellite map. That way you can kind of keep an idea of where this damage happened in, you know, in relation to the overall. So, first up, we are right here, and we are looking at a destroyed barn and a field so if we look at the field here you can see that there are several trees downed and they're all facing the north northward you know north direction there um, quite a few of these are pretty big trees I'll show you um, a few pictures of that the um, uh, these weren't hit by the tornado itself though these were south of the tornado so the tornado probably traveled 30 yards to the north of it which explains why none of the wood is twisted and why it's all fallen in the same direction and the barn itself as you can see is also south of the field um, north to south again is the way the satellites looking so this barn is south of the field by by several yards um, probably a hundred hundred fifty yards south of the field and this barn was destroyed by RFD damage, which is rear flank downdraft wind. And that occurs south of a wall cloud when in storms. So that's what was the, um, uh, that was actually what caused a lot of the damage to barns because the path of the tornado itself was very narrow. So like I said, here's the field and the barn destroyed. I have several photographs and footage of that. Next up is going to be this circled area right here. Uh, this is where the tornado itself most likely hit, according to me that is. Um, if I had to guess, the tornado hit directly in the spot. This is across the street and I don't have any pictures of this but I do have drone footage of this. So um, here we're going to see that there are many trees in a very tight corridor fallen in varying directions and if you can try it you can probably try to imagine it falling in a counterclockwise rotation um, really without a doubt the tornado hit this area even further down the driveway there um, a telephone line was knocked down and a tree branch was knocked up into the electrical line which there wasn't a tree within probably 20 yards of that electrical line so I mean I think we all know how it got up there <laughs> um, but yeah I do have one picture from this area it shows the wood being twisted counterclockwise so if I had to say without a doubt this is where the tornado traveled right here in this area our final spot that we're gonna look at here is also where the tornado traveled and I think it's also the point at which the tornado lifted off the ground. Um, this area is indicated here by the red circle again and I flew my drone over it and I couldn't really get any good pictures of it mainly because it was just a mess. The trees were blocking most of the views. Really thick area. So here's what we're looking at here. The trees aren't necessarily pointing in all different directions but they are definitely pointing in different directions again. Um, this area, again, is a very tight corridor, and to me, I think the tornado crossed the field there, crossed the road, and then crossed through the field and hit this area and lifted, which is, that's just my best guess. Um, you can see this area here just basically got shredded. Um, I do have some decent footage of this, though, from the drone, so I hope you all are able to enjoy this and able to see what I'm kind of seeing, you know, understand what I'm thinking out of this. But if I, yeah, I would say that this area right here was hit by that tornado. All in all, this is where I would 
guesstimate the tornado path. I don't have actual measurements or any map skills or anything like that, but using the drone footage and the pictures that I took, the two narrow paths of destroyed trees that are twisted in every which direction should probably easily tell us that the tornado was there and there and that it crossed the road and went through the field like so. It could have gone on more east, or not more east, but more west than I thought because I didn't fly my drone over that way to see if there's any damage, but I don't think it went any more east because we can clearly see that it picked up there. But if, that's, if I had to guess, that's where I would say that it was. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a very different type of video, and, well, it was a great opportunity for me to do this, and I just thought I would take advantage and show you all. Hope you learned something or enjoyed it, enjoyed seeing the damage and whatnot. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments about this, just... Put them in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.